Last episode, we looked at the other side of AMMs. They're open and transparent, but they're inefficient. You can see the math, yet you can't dodge slippage. You can trace every transaction, but that very transparency lets bots sandwich you and push your fill price higher. In practice, that transparency often delivers a worse trading experience. Thus, AMMs never truly dislodged centralized exchanges. In real-world settings, speed, ordering, and confirmation times matter more to users. Naturally, the market began exploring another path. Could we put the order book on chain? Before we go there, let's first understand how a centralized exchange matches orders. When you hit buy on a CX, your trade hasn't started yet. Your order enters the exchange's internal network, passes validation, your balance is frozen, and the order is written into an in-memory order book. Buys are queued high to low, sells low to high, and ties are broken by server receive time. A matching engine scans the queues in milliseconds. When the best bid meets the best ask, the match is completed in memory, accounts are updated, and only then is the result written to the database. The ledger changes happen in memory first, then get flushed to storage. Meanwhile, the market data service consumes those fills to build the order book view, candles, and ticker streams it broadcasts to your screen. What you see is a broadcast of the server's internal calculation, not the calculation itself. On the surface, it all feels smooth and instant. The problem is the whole pipeline is closed. You can't see the real book, and you can't verify whether the matching order or the queue order was fair. Who gets filled first? Who gets delayed? Who gets preferential treatment? It's all decided by internal systems. More importantly, market data and the settlement ledger are separate. The UI shows a broadcast. The internal ledger is the source of truth. Theoretically, the platform can delay market data, suppress orders, or even alter records afterward. That structural black box was ripped open in 2022 with FTX. It wasn't just a funding crisis, it was a collapse of execution trust. It wasn't until the bankruptcy that people realized many fills on the screen didn't map to actual ring-fenced assets. From that moment, verifiable execution became a market-wide demand. Yet, two years later, we still seem stuck in the same place. On October 11, 2025, Binance's spot and perp markets showed fresh anomalies. A striking example, ATOM USDT plunged to 0.001 within a minute, effectively a flash wipeout, triggering mass liquidations. Hours later, that extreme candle was quietly revised, below change from 0.001 to 1.54. The liquidations were real, but that minute was erased from the chart. This is not just a bug, it's power. History keeps emphasizing the same point. The problem isn't only custody, it's execution transparency. Price, ordering, and matching logic all live in a server's memory. We can only see the result, not the process. There is an intermediate approach. Rather than replacing the matcher, insert a verifiable settlement layer between the black box and the blockchain. That's the idea behind hybrid DEXs. Hybrid DEXs don't change how matching works, but pushing settlement and fund movements on chain so results are auditable. Think of DYDX's two-layer design. Off-chain, matching, sequencing, cancel and replace, fast and scalable. On-chain, settlement and transfers, public and verifiable. Hybrid DEXs are not a matching revolution, they're a transparency patch. You can verify outcomes and see risk, but the matching remains a black box. Who gets priority, who gets delayed, and in what sequence, those are still decided by that server. Hybrid DEXs make the ending verifiable, but the story is still opaque. We are one step forward, but the black box remains. So we circle back. If settlement can live on chain, why not matching? Next episode, we'll explore the most advanced answer so far, how on-chain CLOB DEXs led by platforms like Hyperliquid attempt to move the matching itself onto the blockchain.